Truth is, promised Arthur, if I could talk like Tommy Shelby, and I'd never talk like any fucker ever again. And so an agreement. Now then, welcome back. As voted by yourselves, today's impressions tutorial is that of Tommy Shelby from Peaky Blinders. If you're new to this how to do impression series, make sure you go back and watch the first two episodes, links in the description. That really covers the fundamentals, which will be referenced here. I'm gonna go through some hints and tips that you can use to start building up your Tommy Shelby impression. Then at the end, I'm gonna do a specific case study using Tommy as an example of how you can use body language to really finish off an impression. So the resources that I use to learn my Tommy Shelby impression were, I used two speeches to learn the Tommy Shelby impression. Unfortunately, to my knowledge, neither of them are on YouTube, so you will have to go further afield to Netflix to find these. The first, The Funeral of Freddie Thorne, season two, episode one. That's not a spoiler. The second, spoiler alert, John's Funeral, season four, episode two. These are really good extended monologues that can allow you to get in the flow of the voice and really hit on particular words. I promise my friend, Freddy Thorne, so a few words over his grave. They passed before me. I might just promise I'm in France, fighting for the king. Truth is, we died together once before. Arthur, me, Danny Wizbang, Freddy Thorne, Jeremiah, and John. We were cut off from the retreat. Now brothers left, waiting for the Prussian cavalry to come and to finish us off. Tommy's voice is very deep and it's gravelly. Okay, it comes from the back of the throat. If your voice you don't feel is low enough, with enough practice, you'll be able to hit those low notes. If you've got a really high voice, this might not be the one for you. There's not a lot of mouth movement. Like most of those deep, gravelly voices, it's coming from the back of the throat. And, well, I can get this impression across mostly with grunts coming from here. Very, very little fucking mouth movement. And the accent. The accent is brummy from Birmingham. Most of the Peaky Blinded characters aren't actually from Birmingham though, so the accent isn't that strong. What I recommend doing in the beginning is really overdoing the Birmingham accent. Then when the impression starts to come together, you can tone it down a bit. Keywords. Tommy has a few keywords that if you really want to sell the impression, I recommend throwing in quite regularly. All right. So when he speaks in the middle of these broken sentences, throws in an all right. For example. All right. We all agreed. Everything, and we all know everything is fucking wrong, and he doesn't say it all right. He sort of says a right, and sometimes it's almost just a grunt. You don't even need to say the full word, and everybody, and another word that I used to sell the Tommy impression is France, France, France. We're talking about France, and everybody, France, France, France. I didn't see you in France. When me and the boys were in France, I really hit that fucking R. That in France. Another word? Generation. Really extending that A. Generation. That everybody. We're all about family and the fucking Shelby family, right? That's why we're talking about it from generations. From here to three generations. Building a dynasty here. Four generations. The rhythm to Tommy Shelby's voice is crucial. He talks in a very staccato way. It's a little burst of speech. A couple of words at a time. Very deliberate pauses. Right. Everybody else. We all agreed. Now go fucking do your jobs. Right. Not much of a flow to the voice. Although there isn't a flow to it, he does tend to end those sentences quite emphatically. As if he's building to a point. So it's duh, duh, duh. Emphatic end. Most of the time he's also quite softly spoken. He knows people are going to listen to him. So to really emphasize the point, he'll make them really listen in. Right, Arthur, am I going to have to take you away from London? Once you've got a working impression, body language is really important to take that impression to the next level. So I'm going to break down Tommy Shelby's body language that you can try and embody 
as you're learning the impression. He tends to punctuate his points with these two finger gestures. All movements are exact and measured. There's no wasted energy. His muscles are tense and his arms are quite tight to his body. His stance is not aggressive. It's more of what I would call a holding your ground stance. He's not going to take a backward step. His shoulders are spread but pinned back and his neck is extended. He also eyeballs people. He's looking around the room, making sure that he's got everyone's attention. To finish, here is some caricature dialogue that you can use to practice. Hans, we're all in agreement. Those fuckers, they don't come within 100 feet of the garrison. Hans, when we're here, every man within five miles is a fucking soldier. The man that went to France, he never came back. Not really. Arthur. Arthur. He never came back. Come on. Say it with me, brother. In the bleak midwinter. Hands. Please drop a like on the video. Also subscribe so you see future tutorials and other content that I make. And don't forget to vote in the comments section for the next impressions tutorial. I'll see you next time.